Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are talking about shampoo once again. I've been receiving a couple questions here and there about what shampoo to use, how much to use, what's a clarifying shampoo, how often should you shampoo your hair? These are all great questions. However, I've answered them a lot in some past videos, but I'm gonna give a little recap on when and how to properly shampoo your hair. So first, let me address one of the first questions that I get a lot is what temperature to wash your hair at. So a lot of clients are under the impression that cold water or a cold rinse or ice cold water is gonna really make an impact on their hair. It's not going to. You're just gonna make yourself cold. If you prefer cold water, then go ahead and do it. It's really not gonna make that much of a difference in the quality and shine of your hair. Uh, but also on the flip side, really hot water is not good, right? So you don't wanna take a scolding hot shower and really saturate your hair with hot water. It, it will open the cuticle just a little bit. The right temperature to wash your hair at is lukewarm. I feel like sometimes it's too cold, you really can't get it clean. And if it's too hot, you obviously can't be underneath the water as long. So lukewarm water is probably the best for washing your hair in. There's this myth like cold water is gonna stop your color from fading. It's not gonna stop your color from fading. It's just gonna make you cold. So take a nice warm shower, not too hot, not too cold, um, and use that temperature water to wash your hair. Now, the next question I always get is sulfites. Are sulfites back your hair or are sulfactins? Or there's a lot of different names for that particular ingredient that's in shampoos. You're gonna see the back of a shampoo bottle and 99% of shampoo bottles on their ingredients list will have some kind of a sulfite or a sulfate or a sulfonite or a disulfonate or whatever type of verbiage that company's gonna use. That is just something in there to create suds for you. So sulfactants will make your shampoo suds up. The issue is a lot of people don't feel like they get clean if they don't have suds going on with their shampoo process. So a lot of brands will put the sulfites in there and it makes you feel like you're getting nice and clean. You really don't need sulfites to get clean. The next thing about shampoo you gotta learn, shampoo is really meant for your scalp. So when you're washing your hair, right, you're really just washing your scalp. So it's really important to emulsify it. You know, use like a size of a dime, maybe a little bit bigger, like a nickel, let's say. And it's really important to activate that shampoo, okay? Rub your hands together. Really look at how white or whatever color shampoo it is that you're using. It should, your hands should be pretty white. And then the first thing you do is work in the front, work in the sides, work in the back. Then give it like a nice light shampoo. Give it like a halfway rinse. Then take another size of like a dime, emulsify that and shampoo your hair again. What that's gonna do is the first shampoo kind of breaks up the dirt and the oil. The second one gets your scalp clean. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that shampooing is for their hair also. You can run it through your hair as you're rinsing it out, but the one thing you don't wanna do is scrub your hair. I don't have long hair, but scrub your hair, right, with the shampoo. Unless you're taking out color, or you have a chemical product in your hair, whether it be like a relaxer, color, um, I, I don't know, whatever chemicals you have in your hair, you need to wash your hair with, you need to use the shampoo to wash that out. If that's not the case, just use whatever's falling off your scalp to kind of run your fingers through your hair and then let your hair get clean by that. The water alone will really clean your hair. Unless you went like, I don't know, four wheeling and you're out all muddy, but if it's just day-to-day -day stuff like sweat and, and just, walking around, you're really not gonna have to scrub your hair. So, on the flip side, conditioner. A lot of people complain about conditioner giving them an oily scalp. Conditioner is kind of really meant for your hair, not so much for your scalp. So, your scalp has natural oils that it produces. So you really don't need to worry about moisturizing your scalp unless you have a really dry scalp. Then that's a whole nother topic that we have to address. But conditioner, that's what's kind of meant for your hair. So you're gonna to wanna to start mid shaft to ends, really work that through. Again, don't rough it up, just gently pull it through your hair. I mean, I have no hair, I'm trying to demonstrate for you, but you wanna gently start mid shaft, pull down the ends and work your way up to the root area. That hair also needs a little conditioning too. Don't be afraid to get it in your scalp, you're gonna rinse it off. As long as you're not loading your scalp with conditioner, you're not gonna feel like it's gonna to be too oily. So it's really important to use conditioner, even if you have an oily scalp, um, your hair's gonna need some of that nourishment. All right, so clarifying shampoos. <clears throat> a lot of blondes out there always come in like six to eight to 10 to 12 weeks later saying that their color changed. 
The reason is you have a lot of chemicals in your water, whether you have well water, city water, uh, you're in an old building with old pipes and whatever stuff has built up over the years on those pipes, your hair is so absorbent, it's so porous because you, you went so blonde that it absorbs what's in that water as well. So a, a good idea is see if you have hard water or if you don't, if, if you're not sure if, if your water's discoloring your hair a little bit, take a look at your shower curtain around the border of the shower. And if you have uh, like a two layer shower curtain and you have one on the inside, you're gonna see the bottom of that, if it's a lighter color, get stained with like a weird yellow, orangey kind of color. That is a good indicator that you have some kind of minerals in the hair that could be discoloring your hair. So you're gonna wanna use a clarifying shampoo. All a clarifying does, it's a little stronger of a shampoo. It won't strip your color out. It just breaks down some of those mineral deposits in your hair just to kind of make your hair a clean canvas for when you're about to color your hair or for your styling products. Most of the clarifying shampoos today are color safe, so you don't have to worry about them stripping your color. But a clarifying shampoo is a really good idea if you see that film or that, that discoloration on your shower curtain. And the last little tidbit for you today is how often should you wash your hair? So I have clients that wash their hair once a week. I have clients that wash their hair every single day. Honestly, if you can go every other, every three days, that's perfect, that's ideal. You gotta think of your hair as a fabric. I use this example all the time. If you're washing your favorite shirt every single day and ironing it every day, and then you put it on and wear it every single day, the fabric of that shirt is gonna eventually wear away or wear away a lot faster than if you didn't wash it every day. So your hair is pretty similar. If you wash your hair every day and then you're blowing it out and you're styling it and you're constantly beating it up with an iron and a flat iron and blowing it dry and brushing out tangles, your, your hair is not gonna last as long and it's gonna get a little more fragile. So if you can push it every three days, and listen, a lot of you girls are like, well, I work out all the time or um, I sweat a lot, my scalp's oily. Eventually your scalp, if you give it a few days to kind of realize it doesn't need to produce so much oil, it will stop the production of oil because it doesn't need to produce it. But because you're washing it every day, your scalp's like, oh wow, I'm, getting, I'm stripping oils away, I gotta reproduce more. So eventually that will balance out. Now, you ladies out there who go a week or two weeks, you, your scalp does need to get clean. So if you do push it a week, you really should give yourself three shampoos that one day you wash your hair. And if you're going to the salon for your weekly blowout, have them wash it two or three times to so really get in there and break up any of that oil and that buildup of dirt and whatever nature puts in your hair from just living. One tip that I like to give people is after you wash your hair and you style it, use a dry shampoo out the gate. So the first thing you do after you're styled, use a little dry shampoo at your root area, especially if your scalp gets a little oily. This should help absorb that oil before it builds up on your hair, giving you an extra day or two in between shampoos. So any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. Shampooing is some of the most basic things that we learn as children, like washing our bodies or washing our hair, but yet it seems to be confusing still for some people, especially if you have color, if you have highlights, how much shampoo should I use, how often, what's the temperature. So I hope I answered a few of those questions in this video. And if I missed anything, please leave it in the comment box below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click subscribe to this channel and thumbs up this video. If you didn't like it, leave a comment and let me know why. And that's it. I'll see you later. Bye.